there's something you should see. Let's Take a look after you turn in your belt. Caller on the line. Ring, 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 ring. Hello? Hi. Who is this? It's me, Jim Goopster. I'm the prank caller. Oh, uh, so you're prank calling me? Come on. All right, good. Get over here. What, 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 is your refrigerator going nuts over there? Is it Check this out. Hello, Blim City citizens. That's Clug Nugman. Blim City Magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch this next bit. All about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Yeesh, desperate much? Can he even help us? I already told him you go. Oh, great. No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Just head through there. Clug's expecting you. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you, you've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. What's the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems. Assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit, like we're gonna stop now. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just like killing freaks. If you want to help, you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Uh, feel free to stay as long as you'd like. Hey, it's me. Yo! It's me. So... Another 
<laughs> they went, well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yep, and he even gave us this weird thing we could save humans with. God damn. You got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Broto's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. Or you'll miss today's chilling movie, Tammy and the T-Rex. We may not understand much about humans and their creepy lifestyles. Did you know that they worship their moms and dads and school... I'm serious. No more bounties until you get a jetpack from Mr. Keep. ...was one of the most famous movies of all time on Earth. Grab the blob corn and settle in for the fright of your life. Here's Tammy. You think I'm kidding? You're barely gonna be able to get around this universe without a jetpack. I don't know how you managed to get this far. Oh my god, you found the kid a drum, right? Is this for him? Can he have it? I'd rather not, but fine. Oh, thank you so much. He is so excited and grateful. He's not going to let you down. This was a good use of your time. Thank you so much. Oh, shit. So the little freak can play. Jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Nice. Don't we get a jetpack now? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final! Oh, way to rip us off. Guess we'll wait, not like we have a choice. Let's go tell Gene. You forget you're in a store? S-T-O-R-E as in eat my shit? Oh, hurry up, I'm kinda busy in case you didn't notice. See you soon, I hope. Forget something? You wouldn't know if you forgot something if you forgot it. Thank you for your business. I don't want to rush you. Excellent! But I need you to come over here right Here's what's up My name's Stan and I sell vials of alien cum I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear When you walked over here You wanted cum or what? Wait, hold, hold, hold the phone What the fuck, you sell alien cum? I know it's gross But calm down My name is Stan and I sell horrendous amounts Of all sorts of alien cum And we're just gonna have to live with that knowledge Together now 
Why are you here selling alien cum? Is there seriously an actual market for that? I consider it policy not to ask my clients why they want the gallons and gallons of alien cum they buy from me. I figure the less questions I ask about what people are doing with all this alien cum, the better. So, are you bored or nay? Did we look like people that would want to buy alien cum? Sure. Look, I have absolutely no idea. I'm shocked to my core every time somebody buys literally truckloads of alien cum from me. But they do it all the time. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I've been completely unable to narrow it down to a set of demographics. Grannies, cops, movie stars, politicians, everybody likes my delicious alien cum. I've had every type of weirdo coming up here saying, I like 600 gallons of your absolute highest quality alien cum. And, and, and I say, does it matter which aliens the cum come from? And they say, no, sir, it truly does not. I just want some alien cum. No further details needed. So what, what's it going to be? You want some alien cum or not? All right, uh, listen, we thought it over, and we'll take some alien cum. Whoa, look at you. You want some alien cum. I'm so glad you're interested. Look, you caught me on a good day. I'm doing a promo one time off of free alien cum. Take some on the house, and if you like it, just come back and get some more. Just tell all your friends about me. Say Stan has the absolute best alien cum I've ever seen, tasted, touched, whatever. I'm not sure if it's his or if he's getting it from some other alien, but I'm just such a huge fan of his work and what he's doing out there on the streets of Blim City selling alien cum to the community. Say all of that. Excuse me. Fuh, you just broke my rib. go. Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea. So this is your bedroom, huh? It's fine. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what I was expecting, to be honest. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I, 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 I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up, L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rules! Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com jetpack pro. Did you do a prank? Okay, that, yeah, no, that tracks. That tracks. What? You know, you kind of ruined it by telling me you're gonna do a prank. Whoopsies! My bad, hanging up. Click. Okay, I'm not so good at this. Not having a good time. This is a bad episode. This one's. Ah, you, you couldn't stay away from me too long. I gotta freaking kill you. Oh, wow. Look at you. Look at you. If you're trying to scare the shit out of me, you have accomplished that. Solid landing. Wow.
Yep, Gene was right. We're gonna make good use of that jetpack. Let's head home and see if we can hop into a new bounty. such an esteemed bounty hunter to my humble establishment. That's the sound of business, partner. I think you'll be happy with that. Hey, bounty hunter. If my son says anything that offends you, uh, let me know. I don't care if I offend this piece. Enjoy. Piece of Enjoy. Took you long enough, the concrete I poured's dry now. Up and out of! Hey, yo, discerning customer, would you be interested in some quote unquote food? Hey, welcome to Blordo's. I'm Blordo. You here for the food? Or the other stuff. <laughs> what, what do you mean, other stuff? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget I said anything. <laughs> no, come on, we're, we're good. T tell us. Oh, fine. I sell secret shit if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. Now order something or leave. Excellent. Wow, you're hungry. Like where your head's at. Good day to you, food customer. Get the fuck away from me. What? What? I have a deck card. Get the fuck. And one of the cards is mine. The signature. You're trying. You're like grabbing at me. My arms. Just We may be at a meeting. I don't know. I've been telling you to clean up. This place is a mess. I need you to clean it up before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene. Like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? Oh, come on. You haven't even seen him. Why'd you answer that? Trust me, you don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He is so hot. He's like a low seven or a high six. And he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus! Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't 
don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me? No, sorry. But I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this tweed guy pregnant. And then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Tweak to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off! Just grow up and get used to me and Twig. Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Thank you. Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Jean, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Judge you if you need to take a quick break from all this running.
ever come off a little mean, just know I'm sorry. That's not my intention. I want to come off as very mean. Thank God you showed up. This trolley is gonna crush all five of us. You need to pull that lever so the trolley will switch tracks. That's the only way we'll survive. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Don't pull that lever if you switch the tracks. I'll die instead of them. Right, but that way only one person will die. It's not ideal, but it's better than five people dying. I know I'd personally rather only one person die than five, but that's just me. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on. Okay, you there watching us. You stumbled onto this trolley situation, and, and those five people were already going to die whether you intervened or not. It's out of your hands, right? But if you pull that lever, you are actively going to kill me. You'll be making an active choice to murder me. Don't listen to that nonsense. If you don't pull the lever, you're actively choosing to kill five of us. To be honest, you're already killing someone either way. One murder or five. That's an easy choice in my book. Not really much of a conundrum at all. Go ahead, flip that switch. Shit! Okay, look, I'll give you all the pesos I have if you save my life instead of theirs. Please, I just don't want to die. Oh, come on, that's not... Oh, shit, the trolley? Okay, now, the trolley's almost here. What's it gonna be? Uh, not to be that guy, but we only have a few more seconds. You gotta make your choice fast. Oh, wow, I can't believe I get to live. This is for the best. I was totally gonna do more genocides if I survived. <laughs> I was a really super smart scientist that was about to cure a bunch of deadly diseases, oh wow. Hey, I just wanna let you know, I don't blame you. This is a tough decision, buddy. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, well, jeez. I mean, that, that, that was rough. I, I, I... I... I honestly think you might have made the, the wrong choice here. Maybe I should have just sacrificed myself to let everyone else live. <sighs> I'm just going to hang out here and process everything for a bit, if that's, if that, if that's cool with you. Oh, you could just leave me here. <laughs> I tied myself to these tracks for fun. Because, you know, I thought it would be silly. Silly and fun. Uh, so, uh, you, you still need something? Because we're all done here. All those people died and I lived and you, <laughs> pretty much it. What, you want a, another another thank you? Okay, right? Thanks. Jeez. Shouldn't do something nice just for the praise. That was hardcore. And don't worry, you made the right call. Or honestly, maybe you didn't. Who gives a shit? A movie, huh? We've earned it. Let's take a seat. Here we go, it's starting. Ah, oh, now this oh guys, is what, what I'm talking watching about. Today? I don't know, it's just a black screen right now. Oh. But I'm, I'm very, uh, very anxious. What does it say, Rich? It says, demon... Min okay, Demon sure. Man. Yeah, oh, let's just win. talk over the movie. 
Are you sure it's not an unrelated wind? Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, my grandfather went the exact same way. Somebody got burnt down across in 1931. It was a lot more common back then, right? Uh, I don't know. Lawn crucifixions. <laughs> oh my god. I thought I told you before. Keep Fluffy in her cage at night. It's the worst family barbecue ever. I, I, I figured out the fa uh, family lineage, by the way, gentlemen. I've seen oh, this, this film movie. We have okay, I, yeah, I've seen I'm done with this. Of, of, uh, 14 different times. Oh my god, you've seen Demon Win 14 times. Yes, I knew you guys have. So this not. has to be really good. Well, I no, can't wait. I, I've watched it 14 times. All right, now that we're out of there, I can be fully honest. Earth movies are dumb as hell. crazy or is that whole city really small oh hello there <laughs> i'm cutie hubie and it's my great pleasure to introduce you to little cutie town <laughs> we're a nice peaceful society full of cute little one inch tall guys who love each other and oh fantastic you've decided to take a look around little cutie town oh i'm so excited for you to see everything little cutie town has to offer Aw, our new visitor's a little shy, huh? Wow, you've got some endurance! Gary fell in love and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Gary and Jill went up. Thank you. 
I'm starting to think you forgot about me, Bounty Hunter. Maybe we can find something with that scanner. Haha! <laughs> Show off those killer jetpack skills, bud. Hey, <laughs> whoa! Now we're talking. Love that jungle breeze on my face. I can't wait to get back on the ground. <laughs> now this time for the right way. Trust me, I can just feel it on my skin. Oh man, there's like really You missed me, didn't ya? Get fucked! Damn, Mike. <laughs> Look at us, we're just getting started.
You really want to wait and listen to this guy's shit? Come on, just open the door yourselves. Smell that? Lug locks. Glob shot, you know? Let's get nasty! Grindle Labs, dead ahead! Can we use that zip line to cross? Yeah. 
so, uh, you know, what, what do you think Scrandle Labs is like? I mean, I, I, mean, like, I, I know a little bit. I mean, I, I, I heard a bit, so, so I kind of know. But I, I'm just making small talk right now. You know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to fill the dead air. It's really uncomfortable. I mean, don't get mad at me if what I'm saying isn't that interesting, because you know, I'm, I'm doing my best here. You know. All right, looks like a classic figure out how to get the elevators working situation. Hello, and welcome to Screnda Labs. Only authorized personnel are allowed beyond this point. Great, more bullshit. Oh, you're the bounty hunter who helped us out with all that paperwork and killed my boss, Krubus. <laughs> <laughs> we really appreciated that. But sorry, I need to let the G3 know that you're here. Just my job, nothing personal. You're gonna set off the alarm? Yep, I'm gonna set off the alarm. We've got an intruder. G3 are coming for you. Sorry, it's my job. And I don't care about you. Look, I love killing as much as you, but let's cool it for a second. Elevators on, enemies coming. You win some, you lose some. Tell them the intruders show up, so I do it. Too easy. If they 
around and see what kind of weird experiments they're doing in here. This cannot be a good experiment. Would you like to do the honors? We're going to try to show up those cocky nerds in the weapons lab by fusing this human with some other aliens. Just hit the button. So you just let anybody come in here and help with experiments? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest, we, we're not qualified. Look, I can do it myself if you don't want to. I'm just trying to be nice. Wasn't supposed to happen. You hit the button, it's on you. That was on you. This is our best human Fergal hybrid specimen. It may not be as cool as our subject in the weapons lab, but it's still rather beautiful, isn't it? We call it a fur man, or, or maybe a hurdle. I, we haven't decided yet. Why am I telling you all this? You know, to be honest, it's because you look cool and a little bit badass, to be frank. This is a dead human with a Fergal on top, like, like a toupee. Who's the scientist here, me or you, huh? mess in here. Now this is exactly what I was expecting. Hello Johnson. It's Dr. Gergil. I've been asked to send you some of my findings on the human genome. It's only a small portion and I doubt you'll even be able to comprehend what you're looking at. But I promised Garmantua as I'd provide them. And now please don't contact me again. I'm busy. Am I the only one getting bad vibes from the Dr. Gurglia guy? Is it just me? Ooh, I feel it. I'm getting those vibes again. There's something we need in here. Fuck me, man. They're messing with Gatlians. on me and fucked me up real bad in basically every way you can imagine. Holy shit, am I glad to see another Catlian alive in here. Uh, are there any others? Oh my god, yes, there's so many. Oh, but unless you've been alive, then no. These fucking G3 bastards. Creature, we're taking on the cartel. You want in? 
Oh, no, no, no. They take good care of me. Holding me against my will, cutting me open, doing experiments on me. Okay, you know what? Saying it out loud, I think they might actually be bad. I'm part of your team now. Hell yeah. Welcome aboard, uh, creature. That, 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 that's your name? I guess so. Oh, hey, we're locked in. But that's fine. Don't freak out or anything. I can give birth to a bunch of little freaks and they can disable the door lock. It's fine. Ah, beautiful. Look out, one of my little fuckers just saved us. Being a dad is the best feeling in the world. Then a few seconds later, when your mutant kid dies because it has a microscopic lifespan, that's not so good of a feeling, actually. But I'm numb to it. Oh, yeah, that's one of my children. They died fast. Don't worry, it's easy to make more, and it feels good. God, I love them so much. They grow up so fast, then they die. It's pretty rough being a dad. Do not recommend it. annoying but you can use me to get into the weapons crafting center hope that's not annoying to say or anything Dream Team back in our... Thank you so much for bringing me out. It's an honor. Thank you. Thank you so much. critters. weapon grafted to my arm. You're gonna graft a Gatlion to my arm, and that's gonna be perfect. Is that right? Because I'm, I'm obviously down to do it. I'm just a little scared that it's gonna hurt a lot, and then I'm also gonna regret not being able to do Sorry. Huh. 
Pose. That mind control thing doesn't last very long. Sorry about that. I keep yelling at my kids to make it last longer, but they're shitheads. They do not listen. Wow. They usually put me in an airtight crate whenever they take me outside. I really liked it. Oh, I can help you with that little hook bug hive. Shoot my little guys in there. Look at my little guy in there rustling up the hive. Isn't that cute? I'm so proud of him. Hey, hey, this is fun! Do you do this sort of stuff all the time, Bounty Hunter? Okay, relax. We're gonna die in here. Let's just accept it. can happen right now. These little guys barely even count. See, another battle, another pile of dead fucking dumb G3 bodies. Listen, Bounty Hunter, you wanna maybe try using Clug's device to save those humans? Help us, please. Do you have a way to rescue these humans? I'm new, so I don't know everything yet. Don't worry, we're gonna get you out. You there, help me! Oh, cool. you rescued some, what are your people called again? Hubos? You're a very good looking Hubo. They're keeping me in cage. Don't worry, humans. The heroes are here. We're not evil. Be free, little Hubos. You're free.
think you can just come down in here and fuck with me? You know who I am? I'm Jonathan fucking Strendel, a.k.a. the Heart Strendel brother. I'm yours! Oh, hey, Jonathan. I think we're gonna kill you. How's it going?
It's normal to leave in the middle. Oh, portal door. Do you use those to go back to your home base and regroup? These guys rule. I know they're annoying and we gotta kill him, but they fucking rule. My trick hole's ready whenever you need it. Up again. The good thing about bugs is nobody gives a shit if you kill them. How many of these assholes do they have? I really want you to use my glob shot. Ooh, I'm so down the clown, man. I can't believe this, you know. Hey, blast that pistol something. You're done. They just keep fucking coming. We've got people now. I'll say it, the jetpack was a great investment. You know, I love it. Creature, G get us in there. That's Angela Screndel. Wanna kill him? Oh, fuck. The bounty hunter's here. Oh, Angela's leaving. I guess he's busy. Bye, Angela!
Oh shit, this one looks a lot tougher. Hey, tell me how good I am. Tell me how useful I am. Okay, we're busy now. Tell me later. Do not forget. You're dead. Making my brain all fucked up. I don't know. I, I guess they're my kids. They, they figured out a way to get me pregnant. Then BAM! I shot all these weird freaks right out of my ass. I love them all. God, I love them so fucking much. I fucked up little boys. The people in charge here are mad because they're not human. Nobody really knows what species these things are, but I love them anyway. I mean, how, how could I not? How, how could a father not love his fucked up little alien spawn? It's impossible. Let's save your people. Be Go ahead, use my trickle, it's f Hey Stacy, hey Carla! Hey, they want us to bang, but she uh, used to be my boss. Yeah, I was supposed to fire her, and then we all got abducted by aliens. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're not attracted to each other. I mean, she's cool, but not my type. And she is my type, but she's not cool. We should rescue your friends. They're so cute. today uh i guess it's supposed to be porn but it's like alien porn so i, I don't know I, I honestly have no idea what i'm watching i mean i was able to get off to it like after a while um honestly now i love it though i'm uh, not sure why they want me to jack off this much but you know i'm happy to do it like all the tentacles and the moving parts it's i don't know there's something really endearing about it yeah i, I like it a lot actually i mean if, if i ever get out of here I, I hope i can like bring this with me at least i mean I, I don't even think i could go back to normal porn after this nice You can use my trick hole, just saying. Okay, where did he go? The Strendel, where did he go? 
No, I'm not shooting this one. I can help you over here. Don't worry. I'm on a break. I just want to enjoy my lunch. What, you're too hungry to buy something? Eh. Hey, hey, you need something to eat, don't you? Come on, come over here. Good luck finding some food, if that's what you're after. Hey, asshole, we can see you hiding in there. No, you can't. Fuck off. Finally! Hey, I just want to say that it's totally fine if you don't like using me. I don't feel emotions very well, so it doesn't Fuck hurt. you! It does kind of tickle for some reason. Ah. Oh, sorry! We can stop chasing you if you'd like! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! I mean, why are you still following me? Fuck, we gotta keep running! You're not in a front yet, are you? Here comes more! your eye. Trick hole whenever you want. I do not care. Hey, watch it. Oh, don't hit my tongue, huh? I, I, I gotta make out with the babes with the tongue. I'm like the bar, you know? With the tongue stuff going, it's a freaking gift. It's a freaking gift. Don't hit the tongue, right? It's a big dad. The babes love my tongue. Time to use my old trick hole. Go ahead, don't be shy. Hey, look at me, I'm like rock. Oh, nice, you killed them. Oh. Nope, I'm still alive. <laughs> Jesus, these brindles are like cockroaches. Whoa, that was creative, that nice work. No problem.
Yo, yo!
Let's do this shit. <laughs> All three scribbles are down. We did it. That's how we do, huh? We lay them down, baby. Holy shit, I smell a corpse ready for carving. No, wait. Three of them? Fucking hell, what a feast! Oh, alien biology always... Uh, it's just... it's just fucked. It's just fucked, really? Good, delicious. Now let me dig into the last bro. Yes, three in one sitting! Each one more visually better than the last. You know what? I don't see this often, but I'm fully sated right now. I actually need a rest. You there, bounty hunter? Oh no! Is that God Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I know who you are, and I want you to know how fucked you've made things for yourself. You were living in heaven before you meddled with the G3. Save your breath, all that yipping and yapping. We're about to put foot Bounty to air. Hunter. We're coming for you. I've got the two most important people in your life, and I'm going to kill them. <laughs> oh, but not right away. First, I'll make things miserable for them. They're going to suffer as much as you've made me suffer. You're just straight evil. I'm not going to ask you to stop. I doubt you'd listen. I'd just like to inform you that I'm going to make sure you die. And that it's going to hurt. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Besides, you won't even be able to get to my new base on Earth without the proper coordinates. So just sit tight until I come to kill you myself. Well, looks like we're in it. No turning back now. Ah. Another bounty down. Look at us racking them up. <laughs> Good work, bounty hunter. What say we head home? Shoot! Ah, you killed the Screndel brothers and freed us again. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone else is too traumatized to talk right now. Sorry. We just keep getting captured over and over again, you know? It's a lot to take in. I'm still able to talk because I've been captured the most. I'm just kind of numb to it now. Means nothing to me anymore. You're really on fire, aren't you? Obviously, you're not as good at bounty hunting as I used to be, but hey, I'm gloppy enough to admit you're doing pretty damn well. Turn in that bounty. Great. Another Gatlian. How many more can you hold? I feel like we're hitting the upper ceiling here. Yeah, I'm Creature. I'm all fucked up. So good to meet you. All right. You know the drill by now. Turn in that bounty. Yeah. I actually wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads? Maybe putting you in them to drum up business? I mean, my name will still be bigger than yours in the logo, but we'd be stupid not to capitalize on your growing reputation. Yo, you guys are fresh out of Frendelos. Oh, hey, I I'm Tweeg. I'm dating your sister. Uh, this fucking guy. Tweeg. You need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You're just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my friendalos and tongue kiss your sister? I'm the one who bought those fucking friendalos. And leave Twig alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. I can go. No, Twig. You're staying. Tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. It's our house. Exactly. Hey, Twig. 
You gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit it. Real heartbreaker. I'd get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a galaxy to fuck? Come on, tell him to leave. Thank you. I appreciate it. But honestly, it's my house too. So I don't even know why I have to fight for this. I'm just so pissed at everyone. Aww. Not you, Twig. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! Do, do you know how many holes he has? And they're all really advanced level holes. You really gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. Shut the hell up, Gene. I am sick of your shit. All you do is sit on our couch and mope about how sad your life is. You're a leech trying to eat all of our friendalos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory days. Hey! Your family's doing a great job! You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as I could have done it, but, uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic! Tell him how pathetic he is. Yeah, no shit! I'm pathetic! That's my whole deal. I'm homeless and legless and probably riddled with mental illnesses, which I'd know for sure if I didn't think therapy was a fake idea. You don't need to rub it in. I'll rub it in all I want. You're like 80 years old. You can't take a little shit-talking from a teenage girl? Jesus, I'm not 80. I'm 230. And that's really young for my species. I just don't want your creep boyfriend to steal my couch. You can call it your couch when you start paying rent. Until then, no complaining about who lives here. Lives here? He's gonna live here? I mean, if you think we're ready, Twig. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Hey, shut up, Twig. This isn't about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned! You barely know this guy. And it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Twig moving in, right? Good. Like I needed your approval anyway. This is a mistake. Ugh, that's enough of this. Twig, let's go to the park. To... <laughs> to... To kiss? <laughs> yeah. Anybody got a fucking problem with that? Eesh. Sorry I said anything. Let's just get back to the bounty hunting. Can't wait to show you those new commercials. His cabin, he disappeared. Uh, I've never seen him look upset. I'm afraid he's gonna do something silly. That's funny. This guy hasn't come back yet either. Uh, I keep thinking I'm gonna wake up soon and find myself back in my bed at school. So check this out. They do like a Taco Tuesday thing here, which is fun. Remember Taco Tuesday? Yeah. So they do a Taco Tuesday thing, but there's no way to track days of the week. So they end up fucking doing it every day. Idiots. Someone had a DVD of Gattaca with them when they got abducted by the G3 and kept it this whole time. So we've been watching a lot of Gattaca. Good movie. You pick up on a lot of new stuff on each watch through. Did you know Owen Wilson is here? I got him to sign an autograph. I wish my son wasn't killed in the G3 invasion. He'd think this was so neat. I'm depressed. But it's not because of this place. I was already depressed on Earth, too. Hmm. Wonder how my Bitcoin's doing. I can't get my apps to work here. Oh, so let me... Let me get this straight. You like it here? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot better than being trapped in a cage. You? Oh, yeah. Same. I like it here a lot more. A lot more than being trapped in a cage.
Huh? Well, what's up here? It's weird, it's it's locked. Finally! What? Did I piss you off or something? Everybody, that's Globo Bogo on the drums. Normally, I think drumming is just banging on crap like a moron's trick, but this is the one exception. He's great. Yeah, he's really something. You know, th this is all thanks to you, you know, and the time you took to get him that drum. God bless you. Keep it up, Globo. the best day of your life because tomorrow it's gonna be rock bottom again take good care of that now oh, I'm gonna miss that See you soon, I hope. your hands recently? They smell nice. All right, I'll try my best. Click. Uh, no. Uh, why do you come in? It's cold. He, uh, 
He took off as soon as we got home. All right. Here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. Our team already has four guns. Isn't that enough? I'm asking for real. I really don't know. Trust me. We need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh, another Gatlian. That's fantastic. That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Don't get mad at me for not knowing this, because remember, my brain's been scrambled. But how would we find him? We do it the old-fashioned way and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. I haven't known you very long, Gene, but I respect you more than anyone else I've ever met in my life. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Bounty Hunter, it's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to Detective Mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Detective Mode? Hey, what's so skinny on this giblets fella? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Very keen of you, Slam. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? And two and two makes four. Let's do what the suit says, kid. I'm going to give Sarah a call. Maybe she saw him around. She knows him? Oh, she saw a photograph. He didn't show me one. Okay. What's good enough for Sarah is good enough for me. The Bible my mother left for me. I treasure it always with me. Ah, our first suspect. We had to find out if they knew anything about Dr. Giblets, but they weren't going to make things easy for us, see? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. What? Why do you care? Well, if you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is, but <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Am I what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh, well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Right there, Slick. We're looking for Dr. Giblets. You're gonna help or what? Slick, what the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! Quit the, the drug guys. No! Any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate? I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else, or can I fucking go? How you doing? Like with your weird interrogation? Awful, annoying. I wish you'd stop. Ooh, bummer, they were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors, so let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time, let's look for somebody else. Stop watching my prank show. I'm really bad at them and now it's over. You look cool. Can we talk to you? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, one more prank. One more prank. What's this about, can I ask? Ring, ring, ring. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, hello. Uh, what's this? I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. It was a great night. 
Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. You did a good job in baseball. Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. It's just we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? Well, sure. Yeah, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me, so uh, how about no? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woo -hoo. that was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blordo and mention Michael Taint. All right, you all saw that. I had a good crank. I had a really good one. Bounty Hunter, you look hungry. Let me help you out. Hi, Blordo. We're looking for Dr. Giblets. Can you help? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. Oh, did we do something wrong? Sorry, should we not ask about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something, I'll beat it, buster. Ah, oh, that piece of shit. I'm gonna kill him. Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launches tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here. If anyone sees me talking here, I'm dead. Understood, sir. Yes, sir. Whoa, great sleuthing, detectives. That was an S rank interrogation. My favorite VIP. Hey, you don't have to wait through any of this funny business. You are allowed right in, my friend. Yeah, you better head straight through. I don't want jerks like you hanging around. Those guys are fun. I gotta admit, it was getting boring in there. So we're looking for this new high on life store? Oh, yeah, hey, hey, yeah. This one's a little more chill now that we Again, took out Nightwork. Don't want to talk to me. I'm the broken leg guy. Nobody wants to talk to the broken hey, leg guy. You heard you were asking around for giblets. Well, the Torgs are with the G3 now. Oh, you're back. Best not to Do you need somebody to go room. with you? Wait. Oh, shit. It's you. The bounty hunter's back. Good day. Oh, God. Sending more guys at us. That's a dead ant. Killing these weak bugs doesn't do anything for me! 
You need my help? I'm here for whatever you need. Just let me know. I'm going to help you in any way I possibly can. <laughs> And they said they were with the G3 now. Let's get moving to find high on life. You know, look, the slums have always been a mess, but I, I don't like what they're doing over here to this place. It's, it just feels weird.
Shoot out some discs. Can't we just stay on the ground for a bit? that you're literally my best friend. We found ourselves outside the high on life, see? Oh, What's the big deal? Why was it attracting the crowd? So many questions. And I'm asking for real. I was not paying attention. Detectives can always cut lines. The rules do not apply to the law. I need the new hyperbong. You don't understand. This isn't like a consumer loyalty thing. It's more like number 7923, your local hyperbong super. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm pseudo, by the way. You know me. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still tracking down giblets. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit. That's what, that's what the fuck we're gonna do. Uh, uh, hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Derek, and I can be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, do, do, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I, I have no clue. Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbond 6 Midnight Lunch, and we literally just opened, so uh, i only been here for, like, half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because, like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, oh, it was a bad idea for me, probably. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. Wow, nice kid, but not helpful at all. You get a big fat D ranking. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. 
Hi. Thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? That's right. It's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyper bongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Huh? Nah. I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. Oh man, this again. Look man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store, or who built it, or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume, I got this manager gig, I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like, I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But, but you know about him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around though, I don't really know where he is. What? I told you, I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. That, nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where I don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please, just fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. What the hell was that? <laughs> Holy shit, what, what the fuck? Was this guy trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment. Oh, you can go ahead and take his bag boots. It's not a problem. He was a really bad guy. Like morally, he was very fucked up. Bad morals? Shouldn't have been friends with him, really. Not really a good idea. Don't know really why I liked him so much. <laughs> Totally take those mag boots. Okay, look, I know this is a little fucked, but these boots are gonna be very useful and, and they're the only way out of here, well, you know? Hey, sick moves! You're making good use of those mag boots. You're using those things way better than David Glutes ever did. Look at you!
to go. Hey, I hope you're having a great day, bounty hunter. And I hope you go fuck yourself! What are you doing? I will guess what's going to happen. Get the fuck away from me! What, okay, what you... I have a deck of cards. Get the fuck away from me! You're trying, you're like grabbing at me. My arms just kind of do what I want to do. 